so you see this is the tip pinch them off pinch them off and once you do that then your plant will start flowering or your beans so 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 This one is where I do my gardening, like if I do transplant some seeds or repot. This is where I do it because it's nice to work here. There's cover in it so the sun will not be on me all the time. And I can work here up to at least 2 in the afternoon and the shade is good. I have here some weeping willow that I am trying to grow. Once uh, they are big enough and have long branches, I will go ahead and separate each of them so i have here two string beans that i don't know where will i plant it because i have extra and also i have some peanuts some okra seedlings these are rosemaries i just cut them from the main plant and just stick them on the soil and they will grow these are also string beans i have some ampalaya more ampalaya here and some more ampalaya here that already germinated and these are strawberries and I also have some strawberry here that is still in the water. It already has roots. So when I grow strawberries from the mother plant, they grow some runners. Runners are like this. I'll show you what a runner is. So this is the main plant, right? Suppose it is planted on the soil already. This main plant will grow a branch that will have like a little baby here. So this little baby here, this is going to be one matured plant and the roots is going to come out from here so this is called a runner once this grew and you see roots coming out or when it's big enough and they have like tiny tiny nodules here already then i cut it and replant it so this is this whole thing is a runner i mean yeah it grows from a runner so this is the whole runner this one this is a perfect sample so once they have enough roots like maybe one inch long roots then you can plant them in the soil already just like what i did on that strawberries there so all of them here i'm trying to grow their roots those strawberries that are matured already are here if you wanted to sell these strawberries here you can sell it for at least five dollars or cheaper so they are healthy already these all these are from runners and even they are still a baby they already grow their own runners so you can let the runners uh stick to the soil and they will just grow roots so i just let them touch the soil once they touch the soil they will grow roots and on this side i also have some lemongrass that these lemongrass are not healthy so i just leave it alone here i think probably something is eating my lemongrass this is freshly eaten maybe the dog because my dog loves to eat lemongrass <laughs> oh gosh uh, some roses that i am trying to see if i can grow it this way here all together and then we have some peanuts here that I already transplanted. This is my first time growing peanuts, so I'll see if we can have fruits from here. So let's recap our area. Those are where the five plant beds are. I already went through that. This is my working area for all the seedlings and things that I am trying to grow. And these uh, orange buckets here that you see, I planted some purple yam. This purple yam here is already matured because it was given to me by Miss Anna. She's one of my friends and she has a couple of uh, purple yam and she gave me one that's already grown. And then I bought more purple yam from the Asian store and planted them here. So you won't see, but if you, I don't know if you can see this uh, little uh, purple color, that's gonna be the stems. So these are all purple yam that I am waiting for them to sprout. Purple yam is good we either boil the crops on the bottom they grow crops or turn them into a dessert or bake them mix it with flour okay let's go to this area i have four plant beds here that are three feet by eight feet these are elephant ears on the inside are cucumber and i build trellis for the cucumber and then we have corn here and then we have strawberries here also we have strawberries on the other side it's kind of messed up right here because they are like crowded so what i will do with this plant bed is i will try to reorganize them and turn them into one like this so the reason why i 
make my strawberries like this is because when they start bearing fruits what happen is the fruit touches the ground and the slugs or other insect starts eating them before i can even harvest them so with this setup the strawberries are here on the pot but the roots i i mean but the fruit i can like hang them outside here so they are hanging around the pots and not touching the ground although they are in the pot the roots of these strawberries are going through the soil the in-ground soil so the nutrients that they get from the soil is not limited because they still have a lot of soil underneath them i am not even expecting this uh, strawberry to bear fruits i actually don't want it because i want them to focus on growing instead of making fruits so let me show you a runner so this one is a runner it's hanging on the air and then this one is also a runner see from here it uh, it's a runner because it's trying to run away from the mother plant so the runner is here once the runner touches the ground they start to have roots so either i can harvest it now and put them in the water or just let them grow here and grow some more roots so they are uh, more stable when i transfer them in the pot so this one has a lot of runners runners yep let's go ahead and cut this one it's dry it's a runner that died so if you set up your strawberry plant like this i think they are uh less chances of getting insects and the fruits is really gonna be healthier so what i will plan on doing on my other plant bed of strawberry here is also separate them and just uh put them in a pot just like the other one because it's so crowded already some of them are not even getting enough sunshine these elephant ears are the one that produces what you call it uh tangkwai Tuang, I, I don't know what you call it but it has runners also it grows runners and those runners also grow another plant but it is mixed already because i planted some bulbs here that i got from the groceries like this area here these are from bulbs and the, uh, the rest of them are from runners the runners came from originally came from my friend wang she has a uh, egg uh, she has this type of elephant ears that grow runners so the runners you can plant it bury it in the in the soil and it will also grow its own plant this uh, type of elephant ears you can eat these leaves so you saute it or boil it with coconut milk add a little bit of meat and you can eat this one this cucumber i don't prune the top but i remove some of the suckers and some of the leaves if the leaves are already thick i i try to remove some of the leaves that not really much necessary with cucumber i realized and learned that there's two type of flowers the male and the female flowers so this is a female flower you will see that there's a flower and there's a tiny cucumber so this is female this is female flower because it has the cucumber and the flower a male flower let me see so this is a male flower if you can see the it's just a flower there's no cucumber attached to it so this is a male flower so this is looking thick right now with all these leaves i will go ahead and remove some of the leaves and probably take out some of the suckers that i don't really need this one is blocking everybody let's take that out i am not very specific right now because they are already matured and grown i just take out leaves that are trying to block my sight this is the very first cucumber that i have and they said the first cucumber that you have it's gonna be deformed so true enough our corn here is already growing corns the flowers are on the top on the bottom here is our corn if you can notice the stems are thick that's because they have baby corns inside it's like they're pregnant already like this one it's gonna have some corn but some are still a baby this look like it is getting big so this is our corn i have at least 17 of them oh before i forget i also would like to mention to you that i also planted some marigolds on each end it's not really 100 percent guarantee that you won't have 
pest. So this is my string beans. This string beans has been here since April. And what happened is, three days ago, I look in YouTube, what can I do to make this string beans flower? What I found out is that you have to cut or pinch off the tip of your string beans. And once you do that, then your plant will start flowering or your beans. So you see, this is the tip, pinch them off, pinch them off. So if you will see most of the tips here are already pinched off. And then after I did that, what I noticed is they start making flowers so it is true that if you pinch off the tip it's gonna grow flowers quicker so from now on i'm gonna go ahead and start taking off the tip so th that's a flower so we got flowers here already look at that and that's what you want with your string beans you want to see flowers that's also going to be like flowers i got a stink bug in there so that's about it for my vegetable garden I may show you my banana trees. I have a lot of banana trees. One, some here at the back area, some are at the front. These two are my parent banana. I planted this June last year. Winter time, we have a little bit of snow and frost. Before the winter arrive, I cut off the leaves and leave it like standing there. There's not even mulch or anything. I just leave them alone. And then when it starts getting heat up on the next year, like around February, they started sprouting leaves and these are the babies i already harvested babies from this mother plant so these are the babies already or the pups i have some uh, elephant ear here so these are also babies of that mother banana tree they are growing and even though they are still a baby i can already see that i have banana growing here so that's the pup already once they grow tall enough, maybe if they have like six leaves already, then you can go ahead and separate them and replant them or repot them wherever you want. Um, also, this one is a mother plant. I plant them at the same time. I ha originally, I have two original bananas. And they grow back during winter. What grows back during winter that I have are strawberry bananas and elephant ears. So this is also the baby. I'll show you the my banana at the front of the house. Those are also the pop or baby bananas from the mother, mother banana. So I have at least uh, 16 or 17 bananas around my house. I don't know and I'm not sure if they will bear fruit. But that's not my goal. My goal is to have a tropical look in my yard. And I don't really care for the banana, the fruit. So these are banana. The rabbits are eating them. So I secure them with a... Uh, this fence the rabbits they don't care if the bananas are big already they only care about I think they only eat when the bananas are young see this banana was eaten all the way to the ground level so it's really delayed and this one they don't touch it because it's big already so these are the youngest banana that I have they comes back after winter so you don't really have to worry about them these are perennial and i showed you i have a uh, weeping willow trees that i'm trying to grow at the backyard and this is the mother the mother tree i just cut off the branch stick them to the ground and they will grow roots and this is our front yard and that's it for today yeah! Yeah! Click the bell, please!